Why does God want us to worship him? Because he knows what's best for us. He doesn't want us to curse him because he knows that's ultimately going to hurt us. During your talk, you said that truth is, ba truth is based on purpose. Um, and I've been told before that the purpose of humanity is to worship God. And if God created us with that purpose, how does that not make him a pride and egotistical God? What is there apologetically to prove that God, in fact, created us out of love and not out of pride for himself? The first commandment, the greatest commandment, love God first and everybody love everybody. So Jesus made it clear. He summed up the entire law. And so really, when you love God first, you're worshiping him. So, so if God created humanity on purpose and for the specific purpose to love God, then there are, are objective facts about humanity irrespective of what you think and, or anybody else thinks. And so, so it's objectively true that we ought to love God. And he loves you even more in return. Right? So think about the love he has for you. He created you to love you and to be loved in return and also to love everybody else that he's ever created. So that's the purpose of life. According to Jesus, he summed up everything. Love God first and everybody love everybody. That's the purpose of life. And to miss that is evil. And that's because love spelled backwards is <laughs> evil. <laughs> All right. So as a follow-up question, though, mm -hmm. by when God created us out of love, he also created what it means to love. And so how do we know that his version of love is truly love? I don't think there's any higher... Love. love than sacrifice. Even atheists recognize that what Michael Monsoor did was supremely loving. The only difference between what Monsoor did and what Jesus did is that Monsoor died for his friends, Jesus died for his enemies. And we're all his enemies. That's why he had to die for us. But let me go back to your original question uh, because I, I sense that you were suggesting that and some may think, well, what is God some kind of cosmic ego that he needs us to worship him? No, because do you realize that God doesn't get anything out of your worship in the sense that it makes him better? He's already an infinite being. You can't help him by worshiping him. You can't hurt him by cursing him. Who gets all the benefit of worship and all the detriment of cursing? We do. Why does God want us to worship him? because he knows what's best for us. He doesn't want us to curse him because he knows that's ultimately gonna hurt us. So he doesn't need us. He never needed to create. He's a God in perfect love in the Trinity. He didn't need us. He created us because he's a loving being and thought he would share his love with us. But if we say we don't wanna love him, God loves us back by leaving us alone. That's what hell is. <laughs>